Circa, a British company that has contracts within governments of the UK, the USA and Australia in arms, weapons since 1964, and many contracts within the nuclear industry, prisons, as well as transport. It even has the patents on time itself, so it's got a lot of um, webs and its fingers in many pies in many different corporations. It's a massive multi corporation, same as Unilever within the food industry. It has many factories and it owns many companies that have been brands, family brands for years, and now they own most of them and they're just consolidating them all. And then one of the biggest uh, investment banks in the world founded in 1998 it's initially a risk management and fixed income asset manager it's the world's largest asset manager with 8.7 trillion in assets under management as of january 2021 black Op black rock operates globally with 70 offices in 30 countries and clients in 100 countries and just like circo and unilever it's another controversial company which has had many criticism for the way it works due to their power and size and the way that they conduct business in other countries especially the developing countries it's been called the world's largest shadow bank just like circo has been called the world's largest contractor and unilever has been called the world's largest food company they also, all three of them were scrutinised for allegedly taking advantage of its close ties to systems such as the Federal Reserve System during the coronavirus pandemic, where they leveraged a lot of contracts and made a lot of money in a, a number of governments around the world. So they have a lot of conflict of interest as they have people within governments and lobbyists on both sides. Um, all of these companies are listed on the stock market so you can buy shares in them but they're all just bad companies that do dodgy deals behind closed doors um, and more than likely within the city of London.